Hello and welcome to creating profitable EA projects. In last video we talked about the different kinds of project management methodologies and we chose agile methodology for our project. And today we will create our first prototype. So let's start with the sprint number one. Ok, the project cycle. You may remember this model from last episode when I talked about the agile methodology. The first step on the cycle is to find the right strategy. As you can see, there is so much content available on the internet regarding forex strategies and believe me, most of that stuff is rubbish. So, instead of wasting our time on the fake strategies, let's focus on the market structure and price movements. If we look on the chart, we can see that the price is moving in a specific pattern. Hey Mike, what pattern are you talking about? Ok, let's focus right now. If you look on the charts, you may see that the price never goes in straight line in one direction. The price always moves with a zigzag pattern, the idea of this strategy. First, we wait for the price to make its first move in one of the directions. This move is called main push of the trend. After that, we got always a pullback move, which represents all the people who bought the asset on the bottom and right now they are closing their position with a profit. But what happens when all those people close their old positions? They start buying again and the trend cycle continues. So, this is the pattern that we are going to take advantage of. We need to find a moment when the pullback move finishes and open our position when the price starts moving again into a trend direction and close it when the certain amount of profit has been reached. This kind of strategy is called trend following because it focuses on following the trend. Ok, right now we know the whole idea about the strategy but how are we gonna know when the pullback move finishes? We will use EMA, so called exponential moving average. In simple words, moving average shows you the price of an asset during the specific period of time. We can use moving average of 1 hour, 1 day, 1 week or 1 month or all of them at the same time. We will treat our EMA price as a place where our pullback move finishes and the price can follow the trend again. In order to get more confirmation about the end of the pullback move, we will monitor price movements on other time frames to make sure that the price starts following the trend again. In conclusion, when we will see the price trending, we will wait for a pullback move and if the price will be pushed into the our exponential moving average level, we will start monitoring the lower time frames in order to get confirmation that the price will start following the trend again. Ok, let's move back to the sprint cycle again. Now, when we have the strategy defined, we can finally move to the coding stage. So, let's finally write some code. So our prototype is finished, let's start some testing. Strategy tested, let's move back again to the strategy cycle. The next step is to analyze the output we got from our tests. We performed the test during the whole year between 2017 and 2018. The strategy was tested on the USD JPY asset. We had 1240 test cases, which out of them we had 12 profitable ones. When we look on the profitable cases, we can see many types of equity curves out there. Let's input data into our project tracker. The first print output product is called trend following. Cycle number one. Version 
the maximum amount of profit was 38% during the whole year and the biggest drawdown was 34%. We had 12 profitable test cases and the parameters of best cases were like this. In conclusion, I can say that this AI has a big potential but needs mastering. Moving back to the cycle. The next step is adjusting the strategy, but as this is our first sprint, we can stop right here and I can say that sprint number one is finally finished. Now, when the sprint is finished, let's move to the lessons learned from the sprint number one. First thing, trend following has a big potential, but needs to be mastered before deploying into the production. We will work on that in future. Another thing, we need to figure it out a way how to accurately define the actual trend of the market. Is it trending or not? Noted for future sprint projects. Take profit and stop loss. They have to be changed from fixed amounts to flexible amounts as the market conditions change all the time and we need our stop loss and take profit to change with them. Our lot size has to be always calculated based on a percentage of our account. If our account gets bigger, our trade size gets bigger as well. The same rule applies when our account gets smaller. When we lose money, we decrease the lot size. And the last thing is that we need to apply to our EA software some kind of a profit protection rule or I would say profit locker rule. Basically, it will be a function that will protect us from situations like we have a profit trade and that trade will turn into the losing trade in the end. It's always better to make one dollar from a trade instead of losing money. Learned and noted for future projects. But what if... We create a database that will take all the news releases from economic calendars in real-time data connected to MT4 platform and then make some trades in FX market. We can take advantage of speed and trade new spikes before everyone else from retail traders. But all of that good stuff in new episode. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video series. If you have any questions or ideas that could contribute to our project, please leave them in comments. And remember, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If our community gets bigger, we got more chances to succeed with our project. See you again.